If you're brand new to Tarkov or even a veteran with thousands of hours, you've probably noticed that there are hundreds, if not thousands of items in Escape from Tarkov. And one of the biggest learning curves of this game is simply understanding what items are worth taking out of raid to maximize your profit. Most players know about the big shiny items like lead X's, GPUs, color key cards, and things like that. But there are a ton of hidden gems in this game that you would not expect to be worth a ton of money. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys 10 best in slot money making items that you had no idea about. Did you guys know that 98% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed? That's insane. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you might as well turn on notifications while you're at it. Just make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. That's all I'm asking. All right, so jumping straight into the game before we get into the items that I have to show you guys for today, I wanna just put out there that all of these items that I'm showing you are kind of not the normal things you would expect to see. This isn't gonna be covering lead X's, GPUs, high value keys, things like that, moonshine, intel, blah, blah, blah. This is gonna be some of the not so known items that are worth a good bit of money. And the goal of this is to just kind of get the ball rolling and show you guys a few things that you might not have known that were worth a lot. And then you can go from there and start figuring out what random items in Tarkov are definitely worth picking up and taking. So jumping straight into this, you're probably gonna notice that pretty much all of these things that I'm gonna be showing you guys are weapons and parts so again like i said this is just to get the ball rolling and at the end of the video i'm going to show you guys where exactly you can go to figure out which items are worth the most money per slot so enough with the intro let's jump right into it so these aren't going to be in any kind of particular order but i am going to try to go from the least amount of profit per slot to the highest amount so we're going to be starting off with one that most of you probably know but a lot of newer players might not. And that's gonna be the Magpul MOE Carbine Rubber Butt Pad. So if we pull it up on the flea market, obviously we can tell right here, they're selling for around 60K. If you have max traders, a lot of these items you are going to be able to buy for a really cheap price. But if you find them in raid, you can sell them for an insane profit and then just go buy one for way cheaper if that's what you're looking to do. So the rubber butt pad is a one slot item, I believe, and it is worth around 60K. Now, a lot of you might be asking yourself, where am I just going to randomly find a rubber butt pad? Well, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you can be searching through weapon crates, weapon boxes, things like that. The small ones, the big ones, whatever. But for those of you who like to fight raiders on labs or rogues on lighthouse, a lot of of those guys are going to be carrying m4s and weapons that use the moe buttstock and these are actually a lot more common than you might think next up on our list is going to be the vector 9 by 19 6 inch barrel this is the 9 millimeter vector and as you can see those of you who are max trader you can get it for really cheap 11k but for those of you who aren't it is going to cost you about 100k on the flea market now i believe this one is directly related to one of the gunsmith quests you need this barrel in order to complete it and i don't think you can buy this six inch barrel until skier level three or four i can't remember off the top of my head but it is needed for gunsmith and as you can see we are a couple months into wipe and this thing is still selling for big money now i don't think i've ever seen a raider using a vector but if you happen to come across one of these just randomly out in raid let's say you find a vector in a weapon box pick that thing up take it out and sell that barrel you will make good money next up on our list is going to be the svd sag low profile side mount this is kind of an older one this thing has been worth a ton of money for a very long time because it is a very good mount for running optics on things like the as val and it's super low profile and it doesn't take up a lot of your screen back in the good old days two three years ago when the val was just absolutely meta these things were selling like hotcakes and everybody wanted to run this because it didn't take up your entire screen when you had a scope mounted on it so obviously these things are selling for around 70k sometimes even going up to 100k and i actually run into these quite often in raids so if you see one make sure you pick it up next up on our list is going to be the stark se5 express forward foregrip that is a mouthful that's what she said you sure about that anyways this is actually one of my favorite grips in the game it has really good stats i use this one quite often because it's super cheap for mechanic once you hit max traders you'll be able to buy this for very cheap about 17k but as you can see, these things are selling for over 100K on the flea market. And I would assume you can find these pretty commonly on raiders, rogues, 
bosses boss guards things like that again these are just a few items that you can add onto your list of what you need to take out of raid this is a one slot item and if you manage to get it out found in raid you're looking at 100k for just a four grip next up on our list is going to be the fn57 threaded barrel obviously if you're looking to buy this for yourself you can get it from peacekeeper for only 35 dollars but as you can see it sells for about 85k on the flea market and obviously these prices are going to fluctuate now i don't really see five sevens being used very often anymore to be honest with you i don't really see a lot of people using pistols but if you're going to run a five seven and you want to put a suppressor on it you need this barrel and if you don't have it unlocked from a trader you're going to have to buy it right here for an insane price markup again this barrel is a one slot item so if you manage to come out of raid with one found in raid you're looking at about 85k Next up is going to be the Zenit RK-1 Tactical Foregrip on the B25U mount. This one should come as no surprise. I believe they locked this foregrip behind a quest after the update we had a couple months ago that added a bunch of streets quests. I don't recall doing that quest, so I'm not sure why I have it unlocked again, but that's actually pretty cool. Anyways, as you can see, this is already an expensive foregrip to buy from the trader, but if you find one in raid and manage to get out with it, you're looking at around 105k and again this is another one of those one slot items if you manage to get out with it you're looking at a good bit of money next up on our list is going to be the ar-10 kac qdc 762 by 51 muzzle brake kit now this is one of those ones that when i saw this i was like what in the world this makes no sense why is this so expensive and to be honest with you i don't really have an answer as to why it's expensive a lot of these things i saw these super inflated prices and i was like there's no way that people are buying these things and i spent some time refreshing through different items on the flea market and people are actually buying these things now you might sit on it for a little bit but the chances of someone buying it are actually not impossible so this one for whatever reason is selling anywhere between 150 and 300k which is absolutely insane for just a muzzle break and it is also a one slot item next up on our list is probably one that a lot of you know about since the last update where they added in some more gunsmith tasks they added in one that required you to modify the mark 47 mutant and with that it added in the 409 millimeter barrel now the catch was you didn't unlock this barrel until you completed the gunsmith task but the only way to get this barrel to complete the gunsmith task was to find it in raid or spend 400k for it on the flea market originally when that quest came out i saw that i needed this barrel went to look it up on the flea market and i didn't see any at all so i thought maybe it wasn't able to be found in raid but a couple of days later i found one on woods and immediately put it in my gamma container and ran out of raid just for my friend to tell me you could have just bought it on the flea market and been done with that quest a while ago anyways moral of the story is if you find a mark 47 mutant 409 millimeter barrel in raid you better make sure you get out of raid with it because it is selling between 300 and 400k because of that gunsmith task and second to last next up on our list right below the one we just looked at is going to be the mark 47 mutant upper receiver this one i don't really understand but apparently you cannot just buy this upper receiver from a trader so if you find one in raid and these are very very common on raiders rogues things like that you can pop that bad boy off throw it up on the flea market it's probably not going to sell for this high but maybe you could throw it up at half the price and end up with like 90k for it but i very often come across raiders with mutants and this is something that i didn't know about until today so i will definitely be keeping that in mind and throwing these things up on the flea when i can and just like that we refresh somebody just bought that one for 180k so i'm not just blowing smoke up your guys butts people are buying these things i don't know why that guy just spent 180k on a mutant upper receiver so finally the last one on our list the weapon part that is worth the most amount of money that makes absolutely no sense at all is going to be the mdr handguard in f now this is one that i've kind of been watching for a little bit i don't know why this guy posted it for 900k anyways that's beside the point i've been watching this for a little bit today and none of these have sold but in the off chance that you find one of these things and you throw it up on the flea market for like 120k and somebody buys it you could just go over here to the black one which is also worth good money and pick one up from mechanic for 9k and you're looking at an insane profit 
off of a stupid handguard for an MDR. I don't understand this at all. But anyways, that is the number one item that most of you probably didn't know about. I didn't know about until today. And if you guys are finding MDRs found in raid, you might want to look into taking these off and selling them on the flea. Now, before we finish off the video, I know a lot of you might be asking yourself, how in the world did you figure out all of these items that are worth money? And I will go ahead and tell you that I did not sit here and go through the flea market one by one with all of these items looking for things that were worth a lot of money. I can promise you I do not have that kind of time. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, I told you guys I was going to show you a way that you can check prices and see things that are worth a lot of money, best in slot items, things like that. Those of you who watched my last video on the Bitcoin farm, I appreciate all of you who left comments on that will know that I have been using this little app called Tarkov.dev. So if we open up Tarkov.dev, you can use their website or you can download their little desktop app or whatever. Over here, you will see this little subsection called Loot Tiers Ranking. You click on that, right here is gonna be all of the best in slot, most valuable items in the game. Now, obviously up here in the S tier is gonna be things that pretty much everybody knows about. If you see a red key card in Raid, you probably understand that you should leave immediately. One thing that this chart has helped me realize is that there are a lot of little random items in the game that are worth stupid money. So for example, if we look right here in the A tier, you'll see this Troy QARS 4.2 inch rail. If we jump back into Tarkov and we type that in Troy QARS, you can go over here, look at these rails and see that the 3.2 is selling for about 50K and the 4.2 for whatever reason is selling for over 100K for a tiny little rail system piece. And it, it just makes no sense. Now, obviously not all of these are gonna be bought by people. Some of them are kind of like, you know, maybe somebody's looking for this specific rail. They don't have it unlocked with the trader. They see this rail for 130K and they're like, there's absolutely no way I'm paying that. And they just go on about their day. But in some cases, there are gonna be items on this list that don't really make a lot of sense and people are actually buying them. If you go over to the Tarkov.dev website or the app, you can check out this list and see a bunch of random items that are worth a lot of money. And of course, you can also see the normal things that are worth a ton of money that most of us already know. So if you guys aren't using this app, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check it out. Maybe we'll do a video kind of showing off everything that you can use in this app. It is super useful. It has helped me a ton within the last couple of weeks that I've been using it. And it is a great resource for those of you who are new to the game. Or maybe you're not new and there's just things that you didn't know about so if you're interested in that it'll be down in the description they're not paying me to say this i just really like their website and their app and i like using it so anyways that's going to do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you learned a little bit of something i know me personally i learned a lot just by simply using that chart so anyways if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a comment down below i'd love to hear what you have to say if there's any other random items that weren't on my list or you didn't see on tarkov.dev be sure to throw it down in the comments so other people can know but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video